Welcome to the cup tonight, baby. We got my man Shacklefoot. I call him Coach Shacklefoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got that South Side over there rocking where he grew up at, man. Uh, JB, my main man Norman, hacking ass Norman. I <laughs> 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 my man, two, 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 two young guys, man. That's doing a great job, man. In the neighborhood, man. And, uh, Shaq, just growing up in the neighborhood, man, and be able to come back from from your your playing career and, and get a school man, in your neighborhood and. and and, and take some kids, man, that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of coaches probably didn't want to deal with, you know what I'm saying, anything they, 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 they wasn't good enough, you know what I'm saying, to play in certain systems. To take that to take that team, man, uh, your neighborhood joint, man, win that championship, what, how much that meant to you, man? Man, that was like like coming coming back, because like we did it at Anacostia first, mm -hmm. but to be, when we was with the girls, with the girls, right, with, the girls right. with Coach Reggie, mm -hmm. and... To, to flip it and do it on the boys' side. Right. You know, like, yeah, like coaching girls was tight, you know what I'm saying? And, and I wanted to do that. I wanted to do the same thing at Anacostia, really. Mm -hmm. I want, That team would have been at Anacostia if, had a, if I didn't leave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But anyway, we uh, we got an opportunity of friendship. But to coach those kids, we, we I grew up in number 11 boys and girls club. You know what I'm saying? So that's your home gym. That's in Highland, Washington right. Highland, the wreck. You right. know what I mean? Um, to get those kids... To buy into what we was trying to do, and then to be be like be one of those kids from that area, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So we was just selling it to them. Look, if you put the work in every day, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a difference between guys that play basketball and basketball players. Mm -hmm. We need to turn y'all into guys that basketball players. You know what I'm saying? They bought into that man. They started working every day. Started coming to the gym, coming to the gym. I said, shit, we might got something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just straight, just every single. We was going seven days a week. You know what I'm saying? So then I started looking. I said, man, this is going to be cool that we can turn this thing around. We got the neighborhood back involved because these neighborhood kids, you know, people want, like, our games be packed because it's neighborhood kids. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You can tell, like, some of the schools that, like, got transfers and stuff like that, like, or the gyms don't be packed, but they got talent. It's because they really don't have a bunch of neighborhood kids. Right. I so totally we, agree. You know what I'm saying? So we got the neighborhood back out. And, and then, you know, we got, me and Norm, we from that area. You know what I'm saying? So... Our guys that saw us when we was in high school, they come and support the program. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. it, man, it, it's an honor for real, man. And then we got kids going to school out of there off for two years. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing. Like, like at the end of the day, they getting offers. You know, we got coaches in the gym. Georgetown has been in our gym. Uh, St. Bonaventure has been in our gym. Morgan State, Bowie. Like, guys are in our gym. You know, Utah. Like, guys are coming to see these kids. You know what I'm saying? And that's a joy to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, like... I just wanted to be the coach that I always wanted. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I want to be this, I want structure. You know, I want to hold them accountable. I want them to do classwork. You know what I'm saying? But I, I want them to believe that they can get up out of here. Because that's that's what I did. I just, I, I was, we was in the mix. We you know everybody wasn't angels and perfect like that. But I just knew that I'm going to use this little orange ball right. to get me where I need to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming from Southeast to get to that yeah. motherfucking Cali. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's that's tough. A lot, a lot of people don't don't look at shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You very seldom get guys from certain neighborhoods to get that you get the opportunity to go to school, period. Mm -hmm. Get a college, you know what I'm saying? A college education, you know what I'm saying? Free scholarship, and we we all we all this table have, have done that. A lot of people underestimate that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like you say, you get the kids to buy in. And what, the one thing I like about it at a DC public charter oh. school. We ain't talking about WCAC, no knock on them, you know what I'm saying, whatever. You know what I'm saying, but to, 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 get, them, to get them kids out that neighborhood, that south side, man, and the, the, the job y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? I, even when I'm in the gym meeting on that day, I just walk in there, y'all was doing drills. Man. I mean, just just keeping the kids active, you know what I'm saying? You A lot, lot of these guys don't, don't do not do that, you know what I'm saying? See, my, you know, my take is, and I, I always think it could be a little to an advantage, Right. If you will, like if you're a gym rat like how you are, you're a nut, y'all nuts for being in the gym and then yeah. you you're already a skilled guy, right. be it women's, men's, boys, girls, whatever. To me it's almost advantageous, you know what I'm saying? Because like I'm not saying the guys don't want to put the work in, but when you're already in that that's already in your wheelhouse. Yeah. <laughs> These cats are kinda of getting the, the 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 double win, if you will. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they not only getting the training and getting the tools from y'all coming from where y'all got you going, where you going, but also in the practice. So, you know what I mean? It's kinda I don't know, it seems like it might be advantageous. 
Y'all hit the gym every day, right? Man, every day. I mean, not every day, but every day. <laughs> like, like, cause now, it, like, we in the off season now, and I'm trying to take a little break. But my guys, like, hey, the guys are coming back, like, hey, Shaq, what's up, man? I right, we yeah. took a few days. What, 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 what you sick? I was like, I'm, I'm trying to take a break, man. Right, Look at me. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of y'all. Y'all exhausting. Because you, you're not dealing with our kids. You're not dealing with, um, and, and we got a great group of parents as well, too. You know, but I'm saying we're that not. Means, that means a whole lot. But, but at the same time, we're still dealing with matters from board eight. You know, we're dealing with them issues. Mm, right. You know, some of these kids got, got, you know, confidence issues, got problems, daddy. You know, it's, all, it's all a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? And they talk to you to open up. You got to, you're a social worker. Then you got, look, you got to get them mentally before you can go teach basketball. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So what I try to do, I use the bed. Let's get in the gym. Let's get in the gym. Let's work. And then we sit down and we talk about what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Then I might have been through an experience or a coach might have went through something that can relate to your situation right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then that's how you build that bond and that trust with them kids. Mm -hmm. And then they run through the wall for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a, it's more than just X's and O's, drills and skills. Nah, it's it's fellowship, it's family, it's, it's this is the sanctuary. You got a problem, come in here, sweat it out, you know what I'm saying? Work on your game, and mm -hmm. then let's talk about it. Cause that sometimes some of them problems, I'd be like, you don't even want to talk about that shit no more, do you? He's like, no, I'm good, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he just needed a stress reliever, you know what I'm no, saying? No bullshit. So, you know, and, and we teach it like we we big on man law. Like, that's our thing in practice. Like, man, those, those don't do that. Mm -hmm. So now you'll see them in the hallway saying, each other, hey, dudes don't do that. We don't do that. You know, like, it, man law, man law, Shaq. He mm -hmm. won't. Like, I'm like, okay. Yeah. They checking each other now. Right, right. So I, it, it, it's, it, it's kind of funny to watch the growth of some of them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, speak, Speaking of man law, how was that transition when you were doing the girls? Real quick, I want to give you a shout out. But I was like, I remember you, you was... No blue, you were spitting lyrics so crazy at me some years ago when my daughter, my oldest daughter was younger. I was like, man, I'm trying to figure out how to get her to add a cause here, Joe. Man. Like, damn. So how was that on mm -hmm. the girl side? Because I swear, if I could figure it out to get my daughter to go to add a cause here, just for the simple fact of really being under your tutelage because you used to work around and train and all that kind of shit. How, how was that dealing with the girls? Man, you know what? Without the man law. <laughs> the, girl, the girls thing is more so, um, you're, you're like a dad. You know what I'm saying, and you gotta treat them. You gotta respect them. You gotta watch. I gotta watch my what I say. Right. You gotta be careful. You can't be like I, I only. That's the good thing about coaching the boys now. I got. I can go right at them. <laughs> you you say the wrong thing to them girls. No, 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 no. Not like that. Cause my girls, they knew me. We had a great relationship, so I can. You know, we 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 can conversate. You know, I can get at get in them. They won't. They won't quit on me nothing like that. But they'll be mad at your ass for two weeks. I'm in practice one time. Like I'm in practice, like my best player. I'm like, man, we don't. Shit, we winning, but she not had it. Oh, Reggie, the fuck, she not had them points. So what's going on? So I said, Reggie, go talk to her, man. You know, you know, Reggie calling my kids, like go talk to him. Shout, Shout out to the motherfucking yeah. coach Reggie, Reggie my Walker, motherfucker man. Reggie Walker, my motherfucking yes, main man. Yes, sir. Right, he said, you got to go talk to your daughter. But I said, what, 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 what did I say? That's some shit you said last week, man. She's still mad. That's some shit last right. week. I said, but it's affecting her performance. <laughs> yeah. right? I, I, like, we winning, but yeah. listen, because I'm big for pushing my kids, Matt, whatever awards they can get, I want them to get it. Because mm -hmm. it brings recognition to them, their school, their legacy, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. So I'm like, right, she's her numbers dropping. She right, said, go talk to her. So I go talk to her. She tell me some shit I said to her. Two weeks ago, in the locker room, I said, "What you mean?" I said, I said "Listen, I'm sorry." Uh, so you gotta, you, you gotta, re, you gotta pick and choose your battles. You got some girls that they take it like, "I go shot, I ain't trying to hit that shit." What you want me to do? You know, like I got a young lady now, uh, T Brown, like one of my favorite kids, right? Because we got her from a, a real tough situation, mm -hmm. and now she about to graduate college. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She down in Elizabeth City doing her thing. She started out at Eastern Shore. But she told me straight up, she's like, shot my eye. Like, I can't, I, this shit, I, it's nothing to do down here. I, me and the coach ain't getting along. I, I said, T, because you ain't in shape. She said, yeah, but shot, you, you told me to play the game. I, yeah, nigga, you got to do the work. You, you got to do what they asking you to do. No bullshit. You know what On that next level. Yeah, no, no you got to do that. So she transferred, and she about to graduate. But she, people don't know, man, T coming to practice, fried. Right? I'm like, T, what are you? 
man, what I gotta do? Like straight like that. <laughs> what I gotta do? You know what I mean? Yeah. I just point my get on that line, man. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna be sober by the end of the day. Right, right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? But she never quit. And then you might have another girl, you know, that a little bit more sensitive. So you gotta watch how you deal. But she's probably a huge contributor. So you gotta watch how mm -hmm. you deal with her emotion. Like, you know, never okay. How you doing? Are you all right? Everything good? You ready to work? Um, I'm, I'm cramping. Okay, you know. You, do, you ain't the only. You, do a you ain't whole the only. Shit. You ain't the only girl to play basketball in the country that go through this. Right, right, right. right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Got my mother involved. Right. So I said, Molly, you got to come back. Yeah. These yeah. girls need little little gift bags. You know, yeah. hook them up. And the school got involved too. They helped out. Like um, we had a good principal, Dr. Robbins and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, you start learning that okay, you gonna get what you want out of them. They gotta trust you. Mm -hmm. They gotta believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Once you get that. I mean, the sky's the limit. Yeah. You know, you can't say no wows. You can't be calling them bitches and no shit like that. But I, I get in their ass the same way I get in the boys. Mm -hmm. It just, it just worded differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And then with the girls, you make sure you, you high five them. Whatever happens, win, lose, or draw. Hey, it's all right. We get, we live to fight another yeah. day. Boys, I want you to be mad. I want you to feel that. Mm -hmm. Positive reinforcement. Yeah, all girls, the time. cause nah, cause you ain't gonna get her to do, get them to do shit. They, they not really tripping off. I, I can't believe he said that. You can hear him talking, talking about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's damn. funny as shit. I'm like, damn, it's like that. No, nah, Coach Shaw, you was wrong. <laughs> I'm like, nah, you was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it's a, you got to be careful. You got to be With the yeah. girls you got, you in a relationship. Yeah. You yeah. in a relationship, and, and what's crazy is, they know you too, though. That the girls, the girls will know you more than the boys. The girls are like, all right, y'all, come on. You can hear them, like, motivating each other, like, he on this board. Like, I... I might be on my moves. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, he on this bullshit. <laughs> like, you can have. Like, I want them to feel that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, That's yeah. legit, though. But it's just an emotional thing with the girls. Boys are more physical. <coughs> you can challenge the boy. Man, you soft. You ain't playing hard. You like, let this nigga outwork you. You know, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. You know, girls like, I don't care. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's okay. Yeah. You know, that's just, it's, you got to give girls time. Right? It's 30 minutes. Right. We're going to go hard for 30 minutes. I'm lying. I know we're going for an hour. <laughs> but by the time you get in that 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? You, you already know. I done sliced you so much. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't forget. Yeah, yeah, you got you it. Know. You got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the practice, you high five and say you did good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Nah, that's, that's good shit. Yeah. Norm, what about you, man? You know, you come from that south side. You know, have you ever visited yourself in a situation like right now, man, just at the age of 16 back then doing your thing? You know what I'm saying? Playing football and basketball. And you come right back in the same hood and coaching these kids, man. Yeah, so Shaq was coaching the girls. <laughs> I told him, when he started coaching the girls, I said, when you get the boys, yeah, yeah, you you give get me a call. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't coaching no girls. Right. <laughs> so it's been, it's, been a, it's been a great ride. This second year, and I really... These guys been working hard. These kids been working really, really, really hard. So y'all second year and y'all won the second year? Yeah, program. Remember last year we was independent because they didn't let us in the league. And then y'all got in the league. There was some league. issues when the program was up before, right, with keeping a team or scheduling? I, I, I don't know. Oh. So I know they told us that we couldn't get in the league. I was like, why not? I was a little upset about that. I ain't going to lie. It's supposed to be. I was like, hold up, man. They ain't going to let us in the league. They ain't going to let us in the league. We trying to build a program. Kids want because we had a senior on that team that could play. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Really he had Virginia State, uh, Jaleel uh, Lee. I wanted him to oh, yeah, win. Jaleel Lee, yeah. I wanted Jaleel to mm -hmm. win something because he was on Friendship Collegiate's bench. But he was a hell of a. Like, I, this is we look at this nigga. I said, how you on somebody? I mean, his mama. Mm -hmm. He was like D Wade a little bit. Like, <laughs> one of one the sharpest basketball players as far as IQ skip, but as far as like athletically. He jumped. I just and he worked hard, and I couldn't get that. I couldn't get him to quit. Yeah, Shaq was trying to I'm get trying him. To get that. He, he was, was trying to break him. I was trying to break him. I said, you know what? He did not break. I don't him. like his energy. <laughs> he he just his swag. He was just too, you know. I was like, man, I don't like his energy, man. He's Shaq too. I'm gonna break him. Yeah, I, I don't like his body come in. But then I saw, you know what? I'm giving this kid every all the all the reasons to quit, and he mm -hmm. won't quit. Right? I said, man, I respect this kid. This is this 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 is my guy now. Now I can so once he bought in, it took him a minute to buy it. He wasn't buying into working out. He wasn't buying in. He, you know he was he was worried about the competition. You know what I'm saying? 
And once he, boy, I wanted him to play, like, because he worked so hard, I wanted him to win a championship. And they left us out that league. I was like, damn. You know what they, I'm saying? They never explained why? They pretty much said, pretty much like, uh, I guess that. It was on probation. It was on probation. Yeah, that's what it's I mean. because, Probation, yeah. But, I, I mean, what was the black and white? You know, at least I didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Malcolm kind of explained it to me how it went, so I just kind of went with that. You know what I'm saying? So, cool. so did Louisville drive? I guess. So where the bag at? <laughs> Let's get you the bag. I ain't got no bag. Hey. I ain't got no bag, man. But what happened was, uh, so, but you know what? That's probably the best thing. Because even uh, Coach Bali at Friendship uh, Collegiate and Malcolm was like, man, you do better going independent. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, let's just, like, let's just play everybody. So I just reached out. I, you know, I ain't ducking no wreck. I said, we're going to play. Was there some people ducking wreck? That's the question. Man, I ain't get some phone calls back. So it was ducking wreck. You know what I'm saying? Man. I I ain't get some phone calls. Man, <laughs> who ain't call you? We back? know you wasn't ducking. Who right? ain't call you back? Was anybody else ducking? Y'all ain't about who, to do who, that. That's what we were. She like, no. I respect the whole coach. You know what I'm saying? It's a hard job. programs that didn't call you back. Nah, I'm just saying like. Or the initials of the head coaches. Nah, Rob Nix, I know you called him back. I know you called him back immediately, Rob. Rob, one thing about Rob, Rob gonna play. He gonna Rob play the game. Rob got Doug Durant. Yeah, Rob gonna, Rob, 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 Rob gonna play a little some of these and stuff. Like Rob, Rob support what I do. But that, that, that's what's all to me. That's what's all about, though. You know what I'm saying? Because back in the day, you playing everybody. Yeah. One time he we want we want that rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your, your coach is like, now nah, we gonna go play these motherfuckers. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who they are, where like they are. We gonna play these back. motherfuckers. When Lalo came to Madden, or when whoever came to whatever, you know what I'm saying? You remember Lalo came to Madden? I don't remember Lalo. You remember that shit? I don't remember Lalo. It's nothing with Lalo that actually sticks out to me to remember. Don't blue. I am dead serious. I never So what you do now, Madden? Lalo came to Madden. 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 No, nah, I don't even remember that. That's what yeah, I think. Yeah, what the matter? What y'all talking about? I think they might have thrashed us, yo, but I just remember going to Madden. I don't remember Did you cook, though? I always cook. I mean, that was my school. So you cooked Mike Smith. That was my school. Like, I was the man at my school. Like, it ain't no, it wasn't nobody else with me in the bucket. Every time you <laughs> yeah, like, oh, he always asked the questions. Like, I was the fucking man at my school. Like, <laughs> 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 he don't get with no, that. He, he, no, he's asking you some legit was, shit. He made uh, up a man, It is legit. But do your research, dog. Do your research. That's right. Do, 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 oh, Rick got research. He got research. Jump off there, motherfucker. Jump off there, motherfucker. Reggie always talking about math. Yeah, Reggie, I, See, I, don't, I never, I, I ain't never, I oh, hear about it. I was there, Reggie. Always talk about Matt. Matt, 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 you know who the current, you know who the current Mac in it, like, but I still like compare Mac to now. Though. I do not. Think about all the kids coming to curl. They they were the curl of yeah, they were the curl the West. current curl of, the, of now. When okay. curl, if you look at the motherfuckers, curl West. <laughs> Mike Cunningham's and the Quadri Smith, all them dudes that was at curl, Byron yeah. Hawkins, all them dudes that mm -hmm. man, curl would be the best team in the WCAC if dude stayed. Yeah. Shout out to curl, Mike Powell. Oh, great yeah, job. Yeah, great yeah, job. Yeah. He turned turn around. But that, that, that's funny that. We we talking about Carol and, Mike, Carol and Mike Powell right now, because right now I'm just sitting there just thinking, like looking at yourself, Norman. You know what I'm saying? That we had Powell and Singletary in the show. You know what I'm saying? Guys that were real close, end up coaching together and going their own. You know what I'm saying? Then Mike right. learned the game, got a good job with Carol. You know what I'm saying? And to me, I tell all y'all, man, you Norman, Mike, uh, Singletary, Malcolm, Rob, man, I'm just looking at y'all, man, because you know y'all younger. Yeah. Than me, but to see what y'all doing right now with these kids is is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Because I know all the bullshit that go with that shit. Man, you know what I'm saying? For y'all guys to keep y'all patience with that shit, and, and not only that, that time, man. Yeah. That time means, you know. I said that, I said that in a uh, coaches meeting. I said, uh, you know, if you if you coaching is time mm -hmm. and effort. If you want a good team, you got to put the time. You got to put the effort in, um, and it ain't going to always be pretty. And it's other people that are making sacrifices, like your family, 
You know what I'm saying? So you got him. Like I got a son. He five. I keep him in the gym. Like mm-hmm. I ain't forcing him to play no basketball, mm-hmm. but he's always in the gym. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be a book. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever he gonna be. You know what I'm saying? He's he around it. That's all. He's, 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 like he's, he's in the gym. He's around. Yeah. His mom. They make they make the little sacrifices. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's time. But if you want to be good, man, you gotta get them kids in the gym. You gotta work. You gotta work. You gotta whatever whatever you got. Like I, I like I tell me and Black I always talk about. I can only teach them what I know and what I'm learning. Because I'm constantly learning as a coach, too. I mm-hmm. want to be better, too. Mm-hmm. As trainer, coach, whatever. I just want to get better. You know, I'm a gym. I love the gym. Like, I wake up. If I, days I'm not in the gym, I'm, I must be out of town. And sometimes I'm out of town, I'm in the gym. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's the passion for being in the gym and then attract the kids to come in there more and more. Those are kids that are going to get better. And then those kids play for your program. They understand the work. There's no substitute for the work. Mm-hmm. If your jumper jacked up, then you need to be shooting a thousand a day. No you can't food. go left. You should be dribbling that thing left all day. Yeah. Like what's what? This shit ain't rocket science. I ain't got no post work. Shit. Work on your shit. Work on your shit. Who, who's your mentor, dog? Like I mean, uh, I always say like all the areas we came through. I just think this area in general is, you know, we up against the wall when it comes to that, right? And so for us to get out from the different little areas, various areas we're from, and to go to college and all that shit is. Obviously, that's commendable. You know what I'm saying. So, what was your, who was your mentor? You know, at a college, that was pretty fucking rough, Jeff. Like, yeah. you go west, you go first Montgomery College. All, I mean, so I mean, uh, I mean, uh, out of game. So, how, how all that? Who's your mentor first to Man, help you retain shit to actually do the right thing? Man, my mother. My my mother was one of them people. You know, we grew up in there. My mother used to always say that shit don't go on in my out there. Don't go on in here. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a strong. My father was solid too, in and out, but he. You know, in our prison, but he's always there. You know what I'm saying? But I had Coach Reggie, I had uh, Snake over C. Pleasant, mm-hmm. um, Mark. You know, Mark yeah, Abraham. Yeah. Um, those guys in my neighborhood, man. Uh, Bob Gorm. Mm-hmm. You know, I had, I had some real dudes, man. Real dudes around Naughty. You know, Naughty. I played yeah. for Naughty. Uh, I just had good, good guys and my brother. You know, they, they just knew my lane. It was so much shit going on around us that they. You know, Sid Baker too. That's my guy. Uh, uh Boo State, yeah, yeah, yeah that's my guy. Yeah. Um, Shout to Sid. Yeah. So and Trevor, Trevor, Trevor uh, Brown, National Trevor, 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 Trevor. So, so those my guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a bunch of other coaches I'm not named, but I had a group of people that just wouldn't let me, you know, fall into that. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. Yeah, I did, like, like taught my cousin Romel taught me how to dribble and stuff like that. Stink told me how to work, you know, run the hills. Shut up the road, shut up you know the what road. Saying? Yeah, run the hills and, and work on my jump. Used to have me right now, my jump shot steps and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I thought the shit was stupid, but yeah. back then, but I got, I can shoot. You know what I'm saying? So it worked out for me. Um, but but all that like the discipline stuff to work on because I wasn't like good until I was probably about nine, ten. You know, I, like I was just playing, playing the neighborhood, just playing, mocking them. You know, having, I started out shooting in the backyard, just shooting on the uh, the little uh, rim joint. My yeah. man T Yard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shooting in T Yard, and then Mark took me around the corner to Highland Courts. You know what I'm saying? And was like, man, young gonna play Black Wayne. You know, y'all know Black Wayne. Man, man, man. Black Wayne. Shout Black, out to Black Wayne. Black, 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 Black Wayne. Black, 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 Black Wayne say, uh, funny motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, so Black, Black Wayne, uh, um, you know, you know, Donut Daryl. Mm-hmm. Big Daryl, Big Daryl. So, mm-hmm. and his brother Dex, we used to play pickup on Sunday with the grown men. I wasn't number like 11, you know what I'm saying, 11 years old. But I could dribble, you know, I do a little shit. I, I, I could play, I, could, I love the game, you know what I'm saying? So, I went on the court, Mark said, uh, man, let, they ain't have enough. I used to always watch Mark. I'm like, Mark, so I'm trying to play. There's grown men out there, like, mm-hmm. not playing either. They not messing... They don't want you to mess the bump up. Nah, None of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that right. shit, that's so, 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 about so, you. You want to try to lose. No, man. fuck the ball. Oh, go home. Go home. Back then, you, you lose up Highland outside, go home. You're done for the evening. Mm-hmm. So, Mark my, my said, now nah, let y'all gonna play. Let them play. Y'all can play. And what happened was, Black went, like, man, don't let that. Don't let them play, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck them up. <laughs> fuck them up like that. So, I was like, shit. About to fuck me up. Plus, he was light skinned yeah. too. That's yeah, right. So they were going to try you. They were trying. <laughs> but it was. You had to work. So. Fuck so, so, the game was to 11 or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I probably. And Black was gone, man. Like eight points. 
But it was all like jumpers, just straight jumpers. Right. You right. know, and the black run out there, I chop it, get to the room, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then black was like, oh, who the fuck is this young like this? <laughs> <laughs> Marshall, I'm trying to tell you, man, let him play. And, yeah. and from that point, yeah, I took off. Like, I, I, I said, dang, this, this is what I. I can play with them now. I ain't got shooting the tee back y'all mm-hmm. no more. Mm-hmm. And, and then, you know, me and Norman, and we grew up in the bread. We started playing every right. day. You know what I mean? And it took off from there, man. And those guys didn't let me get out of my, out of my box. Mm-hmm. You know, they just like, nah, I'm going to go, you know, black man, black guy type. Black was taking me to play these places. Reggie was coming to pick me up. I met Reggie at Dress Bomb. My mother, uh, my mother used to shop at, I hate Dress Bomb too. My mother used to shop at Dress Bomb, right? We won't get them a sponsor. Yeah. 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 So, so I learned how to dribble outside in front of Dress Bond, and Reggie White worked at Dress Bond. So Reggie White told my uh, told Reggie that man, it's a kid that be out here dribbling. I'm talking about my mom was going to Dress Bond every day after work. I hate that. So you thought that I'm just making it work. I'm just out people throwing me dollars and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just out there working on my hand. <laughs> right? And then uh, uh, she shit. linked me up with Reggie. And then Reggie became one of the you know guys in my life that picked me up, take me to jail. I'm doing what those guys did for me. I ain't doing nothing special. It's what guys did for me. Pick mm-hmm. me up, take me to the gym, talk to me. You know what I'm saying? And still some work ethic. And told me this is what you need to do. This, I told them what I wanted to do. And they told me this is what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that, that's very important, man. Yeah. No bullshit. That, and and they was getting my shit. Once afraid to tell me you bullshit, you been soft, you ain't working. They tell you the truth. And I say that to all the youngers, man. There's so many middle people in this thing now. Nobody's telling the kids the truth. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't that good. You <laughs> need to work. You know what I'm saying? You, you need to stick with this trainer or stick it like, you know, it, you need to do this. This, that, and the third to get better instead of just like, man, I ain't going to say that to him. I don't want to scare the little kids. Like, you got to be, you got to be. don't want to scare the little yeah. kids, man. You know, dudes don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, 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 and, the man, and, what a, and what a lot of dudes don't tell kids, especially when it comes to is whatever you do, be consistent. Man. Yeah. Like, no you, doubt. you see so many kids that come out there that have a great game and three bad ones, and they think that's okay. Yeah. When that's not, oh, oh. you know what I'm saying? That's bad habits for life. You can't have that's one good day at work and two bad days at work. You know what I'm saying? It's always about being like, we're focused on how do I be consistent, yeah. and, you know, I mean, as a person. That, that, you can be that, consistent on doing, you can do consistently go both ways. You can be consistent on doing the wrong shit. Yeah. Yeah. Consistently yeah. doing the wrong yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Consistently, yeah. Be, yeah. Yeah. consistently yeah. be dog shit. Yeah. Consistently yeah. decent shit. Yeah. Yeah. No right. bullshit. Yeah. Real shit. And think I, you're doing the right shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tell the kids, I tell Shaq this, man. Is it going to be a basketball player or you going to be a gangster? <laughs> ain't no in between. Yeah. Can't do both. Can't Not do on both. our team anyway. No, sir. It's too much pressure. It's too much pressure. You got to go. Is it you going to be a gangster or you going to be a basketball player? You got to pick because that's what it is. That's why I used to always tell the kids, you know, like, especially when it comes to the schoolwork, like, you could be one of them little clown dudes with their pants hanging off their ass, yeah. right? Yeah. Little baggy shit, and then they sitting in the stands eating popcorn. Or you can be a real motherfucker where they coming to watch you. And that's mm-hmm. as simple as that. You're either going to be the clown, nigga, that, whatever. Yeah. Along the way, you either quit, gave up, yeah. whatever the case may be, right? And peer yeah. pressure's so crazy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Eating yeah. popcorn, yeah. watching yeah. y'all play. Like, they're pretty, like, and all the, the, the old heads is not really, you know, remember you always had the old heads in the neighborhood. Yeah, they don't work no more. What are you doing? Like oh, the old, them youngers, they not, they, they don't respect, yeah, they different. They ain't trying to hear none of that. But I know that they don't even know who the fuck you are. Right, right. <laughs> you right, know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. They like, you know who the fuck yeah. you are? They don't even know. know like, you? That's right. I wait, I wait for like I wait for black and them to tell them. You know, black right. like man, you don't know who you playing. I be like, man, listen. That's why I tell you I play once a month. Once in a while, I come out of the time and <laughs> check ball, bust their little ass, and then go back mm-hmm. after two weeks of ice and stuff like that. Right? But they don't really know. But the but the the older generation, they not telling these youngers, "Show you got potential." Mm-hmm. Show to get get from like they used to tell us, man. Go down the street. It's getting yeah. dark, man. It's dark, man. Go up the street. It is it's wild around here, man. You come home from like you go to college, right? You come home from school. You go to your neighborhood. And shit crazy in your neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yo, oh, everybody saw you, man. Good to see you, man. But, man, boy, it's just yeah. wild around here. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. You don't know you've been that's in school. damn true because, believe it or not, 
that shit still goes on today, but it's got no older motherfuckers telling the young motherfuckers that don't do shit. Right, right, right. That, that crime been going, that, all that shit been going, that shit ain't gonna never go away. I, it's sad to say it like that, but I mean, this is the world we live in. This is the city we live in. Right. You know, this shit been going on all day. Like, like you said, big gangs play basketball. We had that shit going on back in the day. Right. All that shit ain't nothing, but look, we just getting older. And now we're on the other side of it where that's when you appreciate the older dudes like that. He kept me, kept me out of this shit. Or he kept me from doing this. He got me, man, shit. Cause we 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 were motherfucking walking talkers back then ourselves. Yeah, they see it later on. Yeah. They don't see it yeah. Yeah. And, and we saw it later on. Yeah, you nah, see like, it. But, but we understood it early because we had people around us yeah. that wasn't introducing us to that yeah. shit. Yeah. Father, you know what I'm saying? My father, like, my father had niggas like <laughs> like if I try so he be man. He be in. He said, Yeah, I just saw you, man. You walk through them doors, I'm gonna kill your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just be like, damn, what you I ain't coming through. You know what I'm saying? So you had people I was getting that from my father too. That's what I'm saying. Same you had people shit, telling you like shit. telling on you. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. if you have respectable parents, you know, you know, they'll they'll the, the community will tell your peoples. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't like mine ain't mine ain't been it, you know, but for real, for real, when you look at it, you say, look at it, look at you now. It was, it meant something. Like his grandfather on the porch, see you do something crazy. Or my grandfather see them on the, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even in the community, like, watch the kids walking past the house. If we cuss, oh, excuse me, Mr. Such and Such. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They cussing now, like. Oh, it's, like, it's, 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 it's terrible, man. But you know, you get your ass beat, you cuss. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. In front of somebody <laughs> per back then, they even going, that was it. Yeah, it's, it's, but, it's terrible, it's, man. Your but father you was coming to see. Time. Like, but you also got to make the adjustment. And I think we do a great job of that. Mm-hmm. Like, we know what time. So if, if a little girl or a little dude cussing crazy, watch your mouth, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Watch mm-hmm. your mouth, man. That, that lady right there old enough to be your mother. Oh, my bad. I, it's now to the point where, like, as a little girl, she probably cussing like crazy in school. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, pretty girls don't talk like that. And mm-hmm. she, might, she, might, she might not be very pretty, but that changes her, her, her energy. Yeah, so, now, so now they're like, oh, my bad, Coach Shaq. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So anytime those kids cussing, now they checking they self. Because they see some of my kids. But I think part of it, when you talk about the older generation, it seems like, you know, what you guys are doing, you guys do it because you care about the kids. Absolutely. A lot of dudes now, you always talk about how the guys, when you was in AAE, man, they did it because y'all, they, y'all they, they, now, they, they, you they, got dudes to see, one day, they, they, just, they see you know, a lot of adults one, one see, see a future They want to see us go farther, you know So it's not even about making right. sure the kid are, it's about making sure I'm all right in 10 years. Right. But some of these kids ain't even pros. Right. Hell, somebody like that. You know, <laughs> a whole lot they, of them. They, they, be, they be sweating the kid and holding the kid's horses and holding his. I'm like, man, I, I, I done did everything I need to mm. do. I maximized my ability, what I had for basketball. I ain't trying to get nothing mm-hmm. off these kids. If a, and, and, and if a kid want to do something that's for so, they that's hit, to, that's totally and they different. say, hey, that's totally I appreciate different. you. That's totally different. That's, that's different. Right. But the whole day, hand. And nah, he got to talk to this guy. Or say, that's my kid. That's my, no, all right. that bullshit. Hey, Joe, that's you know what I'm saying. That, 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 <laughs> that, 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 that shit be crazy. Oh, that's his kid. Oh, that's yeah. his kid. Shout out to y'all, bro. But well, look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no bullshit, though, man. This, we, 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 before the show, we was on recruiting and shit. And, 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 and a lot of these guys at these certain schools, man, that be overlooking certain kids yeah. that can play in the program. You know what I'm saying? Like, you name some guys, you know what I'm saying? St. All, like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Motherfuckers I wasn't even aware of, you know what I'm saying? But I thought about it, yeah, that motherfucker was good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, I, I just want to get your input on, on, on you know, you, you got some, some, some CIAA schools. Shout out to Jay, my man Jay Butler, bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He, Jay gonna come and see motherfucker play. Mm-hmm. He, ain't, he ain't tripping off that shit. Just from, from your earth, from that, from that, Recruits from from recruit standpoint, man, how important it is for these these these, these certain conferences, man, overlook some of these city kids, man, mm-hmm. that that can really play in, in 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 them conferences, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they be passed down a lot of nice yeah. motherfuckers, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Like the boy states, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, a lot of them schools, man, be passing down on kids that right in their face, man. Like you you made a great point. Yeah. You looking at a local. Then you're looking at ticket sales. You're looking at people coming to see them play. Uh, you're looking at all that shit. Like, I mean, talk to me about it. Cause I, I'm out of the loop with that shit. Yeah, so, like, I was, a, I played in the CIAA. I wasn't highly recruited or whatever. But I know, I know what my ability was. 
I knew I was a defensive guy. I can hit the open jumper, but CIAA is it's, it's it's about toughness. So you gotta mm-hmm. kind of have some type of mm-hmm. toughness in the kid. Mm-hmm. So I think most DC kids really don't let you down when they when you recruit them mm-hmm. and you get them. That's true. They really don't let you down. Mm-hmm. They they do everything they can mm-hmm. to make make you satisfied. Mm-hmm. And I was that kid. So because I wasn't high recruited, but I know I can play with the best of them. Mm-hmm. I wasn't letting nobody run over top of me and all that, but that's the same opportunity they should give these other kids. Exactly. exactly. And it's, and they kind of getting overlooked. Like he's not good, but he some of the kids be really good, but you just got to give them the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just got to take the chance on them. It's worth it. It's definitely no, it's, worth it's, it. It's, it's DC. Definitely. We, we, I'm, we, I'm a true believer. believer. Think about this. I'm a true believer in go to the. Go to the gym and see him play. My whole oh, thing is well, everything because like again, I was a JUCO coach. Mm-hmm. You played in the JUCO, right? Yeah. You played in the world JUCO. So take me <laughs> back to that shit. Okay, so at the college, boom, whatever, 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 what grades, whatever, boom. You at you at Allegheny. What happened to that? To being at Allegheny, ripping that shit up to goddamn Pac-10. Take us back to that shit. At the college, boom. What happened? That, to that, go to JUCO. That shows it could happen. Though. That's what I'm saying. So you yeah. go to JUCO. You didn't go to no. Fly mm-hmm. shit right off the break. Mm-hmm. Wow. So what? Talk, take us back to that shit. Boom. That shit was. I, I went to JUCO angry because I had messed up. You were pissed I, off, I, right? I was pissed off. Like mad I was, as a motherfucker. I didn't come home. You know what I mean? Like I missed some of them farm summers because mm-hmm. I was. You gotta stay and get that shit together. Yeah, get my shit together, yeah. and I was in the lab. Mm-hmm. I was working on my mm-hmm. crab. I had a good coach, Bob Kirk. Mm-hmm. Dude told me I, I went down there. Um, my father had just came home, and he took me down there. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Man, this, 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 this what we gonna do, so I don't know how we got connected from a farm game. Actually, mm-hmm. really, from a farm so game. That's a Jerry Rice shit, came to me play down the farms. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, Jerry Rice, that's the assistant coach. Real I shit. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I went down there, and I was angry, Joe, because you know I had schools coming out of Anna. You know what I'm saying? I had, mm-hmm. Merlin, I had, I had some schools. I, I actually signed with Louis Oil." But uh, see, oh, see, no, yeah, mm-hmm. see, 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 Andy, he had just took the job. Damn. So I was gonna go with Louis, mm-hmm. with Louis or so then, um, whatever happened with my SAT and all that's that. It is what it is. It is. No, no, we bad. I had to go. Yeah. I had to go JUCO. But I, it, my team, Rally Game was like we was like number two in the country. That's what's like, we so, like it was. Yeah, it was so. It was. 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 It <laughs> if it is me, but to the motherfuckers that didn't experience playing in JUCO, that was some of the best basketball oh, ever. That was a good ball. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm telling you, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from playing in JUCO. Yeah, I'm talking about okay, cool, cool. experiencing that shit as a play. Some of the baddest motherfuckers you running into, Joe. I seen Bob Kurt. That, Joe. I seen Bob Kurt send 6'10 niggas home. Damn, real talk. I'm like, coach. coach. And he, everybody, you don't want to approach. I think I get some of my taxes. You want to say shit to him? I'm like, coach, you know, I'm a 6'10, coach. He don't want to cut his hair. Mm-mm. I said, coach, I, let me see if I can work it out. He just think he's dumping everything and work out. No, no, no. Was you never Jamal Smith or Ryan Randall? Nah, Jamal, I came out to Jamal now. Oh, okay. Because I actually, I, I, I was out for a year after Anacost. So they was I was with uh Sterling Ledbetter. Ledbetter, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ledbetter, okay. Ledbetter, that's my guy. Mm-hmm. Uh guy named Winston. Uh he went to end up on V Tech, I believe. Jump like Vince Carter. Like yeah. we had a like no, out of game. Ledbetter out there, Bob Wong camp, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. His, that's his that's his that's that's his uh nephew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, right. So, right, right. So uh we went we went to out of game. But when I got I was a freshman, I was coming off the bench. I was averaging like 16 off the bench. It was like mm-hmm. Sean Wiggins, Mike Castro, Jam- uh, not Jamal, but a guy named Herb jumped from, uh, he went to, he ended up going to St. Francis. We had a mob, like. Uh, Danny was on that San Jack shit. Yeah, yeah, we was, yeah. I, I yeah. know. Like, it was, yeah. it was, it was, it was Archie and John Turner yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. It, it was real, like, shit. but the the coach didn't play. Bob Kurt ain't played, Joe. Like, we want the best to ever do yeah, that. Bob Kurt, like, Bob Kurt. That's the name of the gym now. They named the gym out yeah, like there, right? <laughs> he told me straight up. He got me in the office. He said, look, he said, look, go to, I know your story. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Go to class so you can graduate, stay in the gym. I'm going to get you anywhere you want. 
Yeah, straight like that. That's what he told me. And you follow the blueprint. That's what I did. And you ripped that shit up. Man, I was angry, snap. I ain't gonna lie. Like, so what y'all running? Y'all won the region twenty. We won all. We, y'all went to the national. Went to the huts. Then I went oh, all the huts. God, God, I was in forties. I was going. You was going. Ahead. I was so angry, bro. Like, cause I did not want to. I, I was trying to figure out, cause, cause the mistakes I made put me in this position. That's what mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell mm -hmm. the kids. Mm -hmm. Like everything that I went. You fight your way out. I rumble for everything. You fight your way out. So I said, I said, I think I went through, and when I really sit back and, and, and chill, and I be like. I think I went through all my experiences so that I can do what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. This is That's my this is my calling. This is what I do. I train kids and I coach kids, but I use my experiences. I didn't hit every level, you know, as far as mm -hmm. basketball. You know, I didn't make it to the NBA about this and workout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but shit, like, man. I played overseas. I, I, yeah. I played in college. That's every level. I, play, I hit it. Every level. So yeah. how you want to do it? If, you, if you're not going to surround yourself around people that's done it before, what are we talking about? Or oh, nobody can put you with somebody that can do it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So when I hit Allegheny, I... That's that second year. I went from make, after like 16, something like that, to like 20 something. And I was breaking records, some Steve records, you know what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. some of that stuff down there. And we was winning. You know, Sterling, our practice was harder than some of them games. You going against Sterling every day. You got, man, it was, man, we was getting out there. And then the year before that, we had Sean Wiggins. Remember, I went to Spin Gun, mm -hmm. Left Hand, uh, that Keith, Keith uh, what's the name, crew? That, all that crew. Keith Jackson crew. Keith Jackson crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my man, Keith. Uh, he does a great job with it too. Yeah, he had all them mm -hmm. kids. You know what I'm saying? Like our practice, man. You coming out practice? You got coaches like that just lined up. Just like, Gary Williams mm -hmm. stayed in our practice. Stayed in our practice, and then I wasn't. See, I was mad at Gary because Gary took. Uh, Stone, right? Stone, 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 no, I'm talking about when I was at Anacostia. Oh, it's between oh, Andre me Collins. and Andre Collins. Uh, he was averaging thirty. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. But, uh, no, it was me or him. Whoever yeah. got the score first. Oh. So you don't know that. It was, so Gary was in the office, and my father not knowing the game like mm -hmm. that, he felt and saw it. Like, I was like, Daddy, you got to just sit, just relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, um, you know, we like both of y'all, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, whoever get the score first, we'll blah, blah, blah. So I already knew when I was going to uh, out of game, you know, that Gary coming, I ain't going. Yeah, 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 he curved, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He ain't waiting so on that. So now he coming back to get you. Yeah, nah, he, he, wanted, he wanted Sterling because they was trying to do that Steve thing. You know, okay. they wanted the big guy. You know, Sterling was a big guy. I could handle it. Mm -hmm. Ster Sterling could play. You know what I'm saying? I was more trying to get a bucket. You know what I mean? But Sterling was, that's what that's what that whole goal was. Did he end up transferring? No. He no, had, no. had a real bad car accident. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause, yeah, cause he was, yeah, he was, yeah. Oh, Sterling played all summer this summer. Yeah. Good dude. Man. Oh, can do it. Can do it. Too. Oh, no, no. He can book it. Can do it. Yes, indeed. No, he, can, he definitely book it. Um, so then I, I, I actually signed with Georgetown. And then Etchers got fired. And that's when Henry Bill. And, and so they let you out of your. I, I, actually, I committed. I was going to sign. Oh, commit, I, I, I committed. Got you. So then I was going to go to. Uh, then Bibby, who's at the National Tournament in Hutch. Mm -hmm. and, and I had, I think we played, uh, I don't know if it was Redlands, one of them teams, in Triple. Bibby was trying, you know, coaches, they all over that joint, but Kirk mm -hmm. controlled your recruiting. One no. Well, no side deal. Well, right. no, well, no AAU. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, Kurt, this is how Kurt Kurt. Yeah. Kurt, 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 Kurt say, uh, shit, if they start handling, let them handle it. I'm going I'm to back out of it. Mm -hmm. That's how he Kurt. He said, yeah, you let, you know, you let JB handle it. Just <laughs> yeah. Make sure he handled it. Make sure, and I, I'm coming out of it. Yeah. So niggas were scared of, like, not, because Kurt Hall of Fame. So you can't, you can't really say, Nah, because my uncle got it. Oh, nah, so let Kurt hurt. So, but Bibby, the next day, was at 825 Yuma Street. I called my grandma, grandma, I had a good game. I, you know, I did with a lot of coaches. I, was, hey, I see Bobby Huggins, I see all these sitting on the front, bro. I got excited again. Like, I was just, I went off. So, uh, Bibby, I said, grandma, she said, yeah, baby, I'm right here talking to your coach. I said, what coach, grandma? I'm my coach right here. Yo, What's your name, baby? Yo. Henry Bibby, bro. At the crib. 825 Young Street. That's what they want. Right. And, and, that, that, and he wanted, he, that's what you know yeah. that they want you. That's right there. Yeah. Yeah. You had no choice, dog. Man, and then he wanted yeah, no all, all them letters and all that yeah. bullshit. Nah, they don't read yeah. nothing. I ain't know. I ain't know. I went on my visit. Kurt wanted me to go to East Carolina. East Carolina, Chatt Tennessee, Chattanooga. Okay. One, of them, one of them joints. But I, man, I went out to LA, man. Tutu was with me. On that on that trip, so Great I, I went out there, and I just was like, 
Yeah, you wasn't even. It's all right. It was a rap. Yeah, yeah. It was two LA dudes right here. We got two LA dudes. It was a different element, man. Yeah, yeah. It was just a different element, man. Oh, man. Yeah. It was a different element, man. Yeah. And you know, I'm a family guy, so I was just like 3,000 miles away. Cobbins mode one. That's how it was. No, boy. Shout out to Mike Gill. Hey, shout out to two yeah. South Central dudes. Yeah. No, boy. That's, 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 that's a whole different but baby, baby, baby did something interesting, right? He drew a box. This was, because he, I mean, the, the far as the visit, the visit was dope, right? He, it's, it's L.A. <laughs> yeah. Baby, do, <laughs> whatever goes with L.A., that's L.A. Right. right. Baby drew a box, and I used his name. You know what I'm saying? I used it. He put my face, say, start naming all the important stuff that matters to me, all that stuff. To just put them all in, right? And then put the bash in the mid too. And then he put, he put them all in the box, and he put success, your career, your you know, business, your life. He just started putting everything outside of the box. He say, if you stay right here, about time he was talking about George Taylor, like, like, if you stay right here in this box, right? And, and which all your folks, you'll never get out of here. You got, you got to be the one to get out that box. I was like, damn, that makes sense. Like, I, we being young, I just like, that makes sense. He said, you got to get out that box. You, you stay in that box, you're going to be stuck with them. He said, you want to be stuck with them? Or you want to come out here and live and learn and grow? He said, I'm from North Carolina. You know, a baby from North Carolina. He said, man, I'll never go back to that. I said, I said damn, man, I'm going to go back. You know what I'm saying? Right. But he was like, but you got to go. You can't help them if you want of them. I, I, I definitely get some trouble. He said, damn. I definitely does this, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of them ain't been that far away from home to Cali, at that age. Yeah. For I'm so for a long period of time. I ain't talking about going with a family trip and I'm going yeah. to motherfucking Disney World or that crap. I'm talking about going out there, man. You out there. Yeah. I actually be out there. I was with it, though. That, 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 no, that's I what I'm saying. Like, a lot of people I, I don't, even so be, they don't even want to be with it. You know what I'm saying? That shit takes a lot of motherfucking guts, man, to be committed to. Just being the fuck away from home, that far away from home. Yeah. Can't no motherfucker buy just, I'm coming to game tonight. Nah, motherfucker, you got to get a plane. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get them on. Hey, you got to get a plane. And it was late game. You had to late. So niggas, yeah, niggas, yeah, niggas, yeah, niggas yeah. shit. Like, uh, like, you know, Bob Shop, Jason. My man, Jason. Right? Jason say, man. Munson. 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 Jason say, Jason say, man, you like a Nintendo play out there, Joe. Man, they biggest shit out there against you. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I watch y'all play North Carolina, man. You like a little Nintendo player. <laughs> he said, man, I stayed up till 1 o'clock in the morning watching y'all. Yeah, that, and that's what they got to do. But that's it, so man. How, so how did it go when you got out there? How, 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 you, how you feel about it? Man, I blew my knee out the first the first uh, day of practice. Man. Ooh, meniscus. Meniscus. But it, it started from the national tournament. I felt it, but I just ain't really, I ain't, you ain't never been injured. So you mm-hmm. don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then I, what I didn't know and what I tell kids now, this is another lesson I learned. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Bill was on the hot seat. So I would have asked that question. If I if I had yeah, me, yeah, yeah, I would have yeah, asked that. You gotta ask that question, yeah. So yeah, yeah. so I come out, um, you know, Bill was Bill was making a he had a group of scenes that, that was that was doing him dirty. You know, parents going administrate. It, it, it got a little bad for Bill, you know, and he was a great guy, great mm-hmm. person. Bill, uh, those kids kind of Back door and some and some probably some of his assistants and stuff like that, mm-hmm. right? Damn, so too. Yeah, yeah, Fuck, yeah. yeah. So Bill, yeah, they, 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 they So I got I got back. So Bill was brought me Nick Young. It was me Nick Young, Gabe Pruitt, and a dude named Manuel uh, Willis from uh, from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Played like Kenya Martin, jump crazy. Just, well, I just ain't know how I play, but stupid athlete. athlete. Um, and Nick. No, Nick was Nick. You know what I'm saying? He, I knew Nick was a pro when I saw He can't remember a play, but he's probably owed me some <laughs> he, money. He still don't know goddamn play. I used to help. Hey, Joe, Nick, Nick still don't know a motherfucking yeah. play. That's my man, though. But Swaggy, he was, he's a bucket, walking bucket, right? So he Bill brought all of us in to replace those guys. Mm-hmm. And then that's when it got crazy for Bill. Because Bill, we be having 6 a.m. practices, Bill, and them niggas be sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all worked out. Yeah, we worked out with Big. We don't, we grew, we don't know. We, work, we thinking that's the norm. So they going back like, nah. That ain't, that ain't, nah. So then. Oh, shit. That's some wild shit. Yeah, though. so. But, but those guys really, they, and I, they're my brothers now. Like, Damn, they didn't dig. really, they wow. didn't really know at first. You know, they didn't, mm-hmm. we didn't know what we was getting into. So then we went on and, uh, and I'm still, we got great relations with those guys now. You know what I'm saying? 
So then they, they five bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm down. I got a torn knee up. They are telling me, man, hey, man, this, this is how you talk. Man, hey, man, you got to get the fuck back out here, man. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, hold up, man, I'm hurt, man. You, right. you know, Bill like, man, hey, man, hey, you got to get out here. And, and he was so real, right? But me not knowing the extent of getting cut by the knife, I didn't know that you're going to be down. Like, you ain't going to recover. Everybody recovers different. For a long for the time. So they tell me, see, I'm like six weeks, boom, I'll be back. I'll be back six weeks, I'm going to be ready. Boom, doing the rehab, boom, boom. They ain't tell me the swelling happens. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, the ibuprofen ain't oh, working. Think about it. Somebody took a knife and went inside yeah. of your body and cut shit. Yeah. Like, that shit different, yo. Man, so then I come back. Bill still cut. They ain't five, Bill, yet. Bill, I come back. My first game back, I go off at like 15. So Bill, oh, yeah, we, 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 we in the mix now. You know, our first game, the second game, you know, so then we went down and played Carolina with that. Felton and them. Mm -hmm. They whack, they beat, they beat the shot everybody that year, but and then we come back from the LaSalle, we play LaSalle, we come back they five bid. Damn. They five, they five. During the season. During the season, they five bid. We was about to go to the mountain. They five bid and then my knee, boom, flare up again. So I said, damn. So bid and it was so sad, <laughs> but it was Bill so cold, so cool. Bill come with a joint and say, yep. You motherfuckers got me. <laughs> oh, he, 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 he said, you motherfuckers got me. <laughs> that's Bill a real said, motherfucker. Oh, he bro. really, he can be him straight oh, up. Oh, that's a real he motherfucker. He said, you got me. Though. He said, you got me. These motherfuckers. And nigga said, you love, fuck. peace, and soul. <laughs> and walked out. Some Don and shit walked up. out. <laughs> me and my man, Big Jeff McMillan from New York, was like, man, what just happened? He was with the Don Cornelius shit. Man, man, love, peace, and soul. <laughs> So yeah. they brought in uh, another guy, Jim Sy, who was a UCLA guy. He came in. And then Rick Majerus. It was so much going on. Mm -hmm. All that Rick Majerus took the job. But remember, he had health issues. Damn. And then. Uh, what was he coming from? Ball State? What was he? He was everywhere. He was at Utah. Utah. Yeah. What was he? I like Rick Majerus. I like Rick Majerus. Like, when I met him, because he, he knew all about you. You know, he knew. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like, man, you got to get healthy. You know, blah, blah, blah. So, but I'm sitting there with a banged up knee. And then not having me, not having a real person that know the ins and outs of this car, mm -hmm. like Mike Gurr, you know, great athletic director at SC, he had told me, he said, look, sit this one out. Sit this one out. We're about to build a new facility. You know, you can come back. It's better to play for the new coach for two years instead of one. Mm -hmm. So I get that red shirt year. You know what I'm saying? But then me listening listen to, like, past stories, and they was like, man, oh, yeah, they obviously one year, man, they going to so I'm calling Kurt, like, Kurt, man, they saying this, Kurt. Kurt, like, what you want? You want to get out of there? But I'm like, man, this is LA. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I, I done connected. Like, SC Strong, you know, I got my degrees from there. Like, so. Yeah, you plug I'm, in. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Like, I got it. And then I said, I just transferred in. I don't feel, I'm going to rumble. I've been rumbling anyway. Mm -hmm. I know how to rumble. Mm -hmm. They bring in uh, Tim Floyd the following year. Tim from, Floyd. From Iowa State, right? Was he at Iowa State? Was he, at, he was at Iowa State. Was, was, he, was he at the NBA team? Oh, he was in Chicago. He was in Chicago Bulls. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Master, Master. One, of my, one of my girls played right there from two years ago. Three, four years ago, called him that one. Master Peace. So, so um, there's yeah. Jamal DeRozan in them in there. Yeah, so Tim, Tim Floyd come in the joint. Bibby let you get a bucket. Tim said, no, um, you're going to have to pick uh, guys up at half court. We had like we played this thing because we was little. Nick was out four. Mm -hmm. That's how Nick got in the lead. Nick was cooking fours. Yeah, he was playing stress fours. He was cooking <laughs> fours. Like you know, like guarding him. Right. Nick was cooking fours, bro. Like mm -hmm. like cooking them. Right. Like, couldn't remember playing. Like, Nick go to this spot, go to that spot, and he'll do the rest. Right. So Floyd said, um, you know, he brought his guys in. So you know how that go. Mm -hmm. New coach. He brought his guys in. So I said, oh shit. So he said, no shot. Just get this good education. I said, coach. Don't talk to me like that, man. I, I, I know just how to get this good. You know wow. what's up. Yeah, don't, yeah, Coach, look, what I got to do? You He's know what I'm saying? Old boy, like I'm, I, so I spent the whole summer. Just get this good education. Yeah, yeah, hit me with the, So I started to transfer, but I said, man, I'm, I'm going to rumble, man. Because I, I know these guys, is not like really, they good, but they ain't that. Plus, you, know, you had some good womb out there back then, or it was, it was about nice the womb? Nah, I'm about to get the one man. As long as you got 
Jerry Jones. He gets blown, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So was this when the Rose and them came in? Or this nah, they was after me. After, okay. Uh, so then, uh, what happened? Baby? What did I say? Uh, Tim took the job. Tim was like, but Tim changed the culture. We started winning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We started winning. The turn. We, we started winning a little bit. Tim, but Tim. You just wasn't this guy. I wasn't this guy. I, I, straight up, I wasn't this guy. Tim kicked me out of practice sometimes. Shit. Had me on the motherfucking second team. You cooking. You know what I'm saying? You cooking like shit. Or you know the, man, goddamn it, Shaq, know the, goddamn. I said, what you want me to let him score? Get the fuck out. Right, Tim, man, I'm see you later, man. He, wanted, he wanted his yeah, guy. He wanted me. He, he wanted, wanted me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He wanted you to quit. He want, and yeah. I wouldn't give him that. Yeah. He, I wouldn't give him that. I said, I'm going to move around with Tim. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay here. Was that so similar then, to the kid you were just talking about that you wanted to quit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't. I didn't. He kind of bought in earlier than. Because I was, I was like, this thing away. I'm doing everything. I'm testing your metal, Joe. Right. But he had his guy, he did have his guy, and, and unfortunately that kid got killed, Ryan Francis. Mm. He got killed, uh, Louisiana. So Tim, Tim brought me in there, and then Tim, so what happened, I think alum, I think somebody told Tim, like, you got, tournament time, I knew when we got Aaron Brooks, Nate Robinson, mm -hmm. motherfucking uh, <laughs> Mustafa Shakur coming. Mm -hmm. I said, this young man ain't gonna be there. He, he's just gonna get rough. He gotta play me. Mm -hmm. Jordan Farmer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fact so I was gonna stay the court. Like this, uh, yeah, I was gonna stay. I mean, and we had some dumb man, Laundry Stewart. We had the twins. Them, them brothers can play. Like, we had a we had a good team. But Tim, can you imagine, my friend? Tim had you, had Aaron, Aaron Bush coming at you 100 miles out. Tim told him to stop him at half court. Man, that little motherfucker was his thing. He going downhill. Man, downhill. Nate Roberts like, is shit, strong man. as a motherfucker. Like, we played. Man, that Pac-10 was crazy. But you talking about all pros that's, it, damn. So he turned me into a defender. And I ain't really never been the greatest defender, but I had the heart that I look. Sometimes your pride is like, man, you're not. Just, I want to be on the floor. Mm -hmm. So whatever the job requires, that's what I'm trying to do. So then he started playing me, and I you know, started getting those, you know, little, that little bump and that little confidence. He played me more. Um, but night in, night out, Pac-10, one no breaks. One no breaks. You had Nate. You had Nate. You had the niggas out of Oregon. You had Arizona. You had Oregon uh, had two little guys that was nice. Like, I want to Rickner. say Rickner. Rickner. Yeah. Uh, Luke the white boy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that motherfucker was nice. Fuck yeah, Rickner was nice. Bryce, Bryce Taylor. Bryce Taylor, he yeah. played that two guard. Who do you see that had? Loaded. Uh, Jordan, 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 Jordan Fowler. Oh, yeah. Ernest Fowler. That was a first That's when he went back to back. Right. No, that's when he went to the first round. Who year was this? Oh, what? Uh, Oh, six. Oh, that's yeah, they went to the uh, championship and lost yeah. to Florida, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. George Mason, they played George Mason, uh, yeah. And we beat we beat Carolina that year with Danny Green. Yeah, Tyler Tyler Hanford. Hanford. They were young, they were like yeah. they were like freshmen. He got their ass. Fuck that. He got their ass. Yeah, yeah, he beat Carolina. Ass. It was a good game though. Um but that but the competition and the pack you had to be in shape, but I knew that that summer prior, like I had to be in shape oh, for Floyd. Because nah. I knew <laughs> he was gonna try to <laughs> do his thing. So I wanted, I didn't want to give him a reason not to play me, and then be prepared when he do when he did play me. You know what I'm saying? So I got my knee back strong, and I, 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 just, I ended up finishing out solid. It wasn't really what I wanted, you know what I'm saying? But I finished solid, and then he, you know, he helped me get over Germany a little bit. So it it, it worked out, you know what I'm saying? Um, got my degree, and I played over there for a little, played over the water for a little while. You know that that rat race, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then after a while, man, I got injured down the farms. Not at the spin off joint. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, was, yeah man, that was like 2011. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the gym. Mm -hmm. I got yeah, you know, I don't know. We was playing against the Baltimore guys. And the uh, guy stole the ball. I forgot the guy that played. It was getting buckets at Morgan State at that time. He, uh, I was going that way, and he was coming towards the rim. Uh -huh. I, he tried to cross, and I plucked him. And he reached back. When he reached back, he grabbed my. Man, no, I don't want yeah, that. So I he ripped my wall that. over the wall, hey. wall out. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then... Uh, my son, my son, uh, in the process of that, I had just, I was about to go play back over, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, I had my son. So I said, you know what, I had a good run. Yeah, and, and what you doing now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that, that, that's brings you a question I want to ask Norman, though, like, do you ever, like, think about when you was playing back in the day and shit, and you, like, like, think about what the coach used to tell you shit? When was you talking to these kids, you're like, damn, my coach told me that shit. Like, shit not music. Now, they, that is the same thing. Mm -hmm. They always preach the same thing. Bob Gorn, the <laughs> real joiner. They always 
tell you, man, defense wins championships. Absolutely. But you got to put yourself in the kids' shoes, though. Now, because you got to think, this is me. This, I think now, today, these kids got way more, way more time. No, no, I ain't just want to tell them. No, no, no. I'm saying way, 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 no, way, way more help, meaning that they can relate to. We, when we grew up, when I, when my age, we had to, it was all older, older people. Yeah. That was coaching us, that was telling us shit. Now these kids got guys just got finished playing professional ball. They head coaches. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah, that, that's, that's a better relate. No, they, they can relate better. You can relate Back in the day, we looking like, hey, yo, old ass. <laughs> but, but, I mean, but I mean, when your coach can get out there and hoop with you, yeah, we didn't get that shit like that on the regular. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I think right now the kid, they spoil with that shit. Like, they don't even fucking understand that type of shit. I want to I ask, because you, you had said that um like the skill level is different, right? Yeah. But this is always asked about that. So I, I understand when there's things, there's like skill sets have been expanded in terms of guys oh. going. But this is where I say so sometimes, like, for example, is look it, at a guy like Kurt, right? Like, what what, what is it? Land like, like, what is it? Auto. Like, you could finish with both. It wasn't what you couldn't is do it? on the court. It's a lot of guys now. That uh, have great skill sets, but there's some things they just can't do. It's to me, it's, it's the difference between skill set and toughness. Like the, the guys now, they got super right, skill sure. set, but they're not tough kids. Sure. You can say one thing to them and they tank they up, tank, uh, but I, and it be over. But they, I think about, I think thing, like, a, like, like a all Vic, I said was like a Victor Page, right? Like like they, everybody said he only went left. You know how special you had to be back then to only be able to go man, left man, and Bay. dominate play. Yeah. But now, awesome. but now you it's might, you might, left, but, but, yeah, but you ain't might, no right. but you might see guys. You might, you might go to a high school Big basketball Bay. game. You might go to a high school basketball game now awesome. and nobody finished with their left hand, or well, nobody got the right foot up when they. That's why I say I think guys have expanded on things. But in terms of the wide range of skill sets, the fact that no, it's guys you be able to do so much more in terms of. Everything they could do no, now. I think the guys are more skilled now because they work on it. See, back then you got to play a thirty. You got to play thirty-three <laughs> with twenty people. Yeah, that was. It's all the score. Like you got to get thirty-three points with twenty people checking you. Got rebound. You got to do everything. Yeah, it was different, y'all. I just, I just, I, just, I, just I want to. I want to see kids just <coughs> get to. I, I want to see kids get back to where. I'm gonna be great at stuff, but I'm, it's not much. I'm not gonna be able to do. I mean, you're never gonna see me not finish with both hands. You're never gonna see me even maybe make make a pay me to pass with both hands. You just a lot of stuff that guys was automatic just to make a team. You don't. It's not automatic. Foundation stuff. Yeah, so they don't. You're saying they more so got like like they got skill. 20 drills off mm -hmm. the move. They can do 20 mm -hmm. move different variations and yeah. all the whatever you want to call it. But all right, let's do that with your right hand. Um, they run from. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's why I say I get I, I get right, that right, I get right. that KD got shit nobody seen before, and, but then you got guys that mimic him. But like, you can't pass. The, you don't know when KD worked hard though. Right. And I'm using him an example. Like his he has he can do. It's not much he can't do. But then you got guys like high school kids can't finish with their right hand. Though. Like left but hand. It, 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 like, but like Shaq just said, KD was hard. A lot of Shaq motherfuckers do don't understand how easy they should become. You working hard though. Right, right, exactly. That shit is come. It's, it's all about working hard. See, and it's all about reactions and reflexes. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you and that motherfucker gym working hard, your game, it, 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 it's not programmed. Yeah. It's just you making a certain move off of what the defense is doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference from getting to the gym and just doing drills and just mm -hmm. getting better at your just dribbling. Okay, I'm cool with that. But it's about reacting to the defense. Cold, baby. It, it's about it's, it's about just knowing what to do and I see people in situations. About, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Like, like, like I tell the kids, don't be drilled. You know, we're not we're not being drilled down. We're trying to teach you a skill. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know, like I hear, you know, people got their mixed emotions about cones and and all this stuff <laughs> like that. Like, Cold, baby. Here's the thing, right? Whatever's necessary, let's do that. So if mm -hmm. that if that if that yeah. cone can give you a certain angle to teach you how to change directions quicker. You know what I'm saying? 
then let's work on that and then let's add a live body on you. See, in our gym, mm-hmm. we're going to drill you up. We're going to drill you up. We're going to do whatever your weakness is. We're going to strengthen, we're gonna strengthen your, your strengths. But you got to break. But we're going to rep. There you go. At the end of the there, gym, there like go. at the end of the workout, you're not you gotta leaving. fucking play. You're going to bump. I don't, I don't care if it's three or four people in there. Mm-hmm. Or if it's 20. Mm-hmm. You're going you're gonna to bump. Yeah. You know, like, kids. One on one, two on two. You two, was calling me in the gym today. Mm-hmm. Kids pooping. You know what I'm saying? So, like during the season, I try not to let them hit as much as they in season. Mm-hmm. But whatever is necessary. Like, like if a kid can't shoot, let's fix his phone. Let's do whatever your your development is to fix it, mm-hmm. and then let's rep it. Good reps, good reps, good reps, good reps. I've seen kids get better doing a bunch of cones. I've seen kids get better without the cones. You know what I'm saying? Like my older advanced kids, I'm not gonna have them doing cones. We just go on. We just you know, the Situ- line. Situation. Situation. We, we doing pick and roll. We doing, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's, we that's doing always stuff. always bad. Got to be situation. One, two dribble. But the babies, it's easy to you can it. really do the cones with the babies, I think. You know what I'm saying? Because it teach, they don't understand angles. So if you teach them angles, boom, 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 turn left, turn right, cross up, stay low, boom, boom, boom. And then you put a black body on them. And then you slide, they turn, they turn, they turn, they turn. They learn. They learn from that. It ain't like from when we grew up, we didn't have that, like that. We we put some, we, but we, but yeah, guys still use chairs. They didn't even have that. Was Coles and Villa back? Hey, no, hey, say that shit again. Was Coles and Villa back in fucking 85? Uh, but guess what? But guess what? Coach Mack. Guess what? The, uh, at the same time, we play pickup. I learned how to win playing pickup mm-hmm. with the older guys. Mm-hmm. Because if you mess that bump up, they don't, you can't play no, they you, you can't. They don't cut your ass out. Mm-hmm. So, like, you learn how to take good shots, bad shots. So a lot of our parks are limited. Kids ain't hooping but, in the park no more, and ain't and ain't. It's not a lot of older guys playing. The older hooping. guys also mm-hmm. you taught the kids the game don't pick up. I mean, playing with my dad, that like that, the guys on the court taught me Absolutely. what to do. That, 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 kids that, now, you can't tell them shit. You can't, you can't, playing, you can't tell them playing with each other. Yeah, you can't. There's nobody to and teach. Ain't no one was saying, man, look, don't take that. That's a fucked up shot. That's a bad shot. Keep them don't mean shit to them. To lose a pickup game, don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. We got next. They go on the sideline. They cool, nigga. We. Certain situations, yeah, certain yeah. situations, you had to go we home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we played certain areas, certain situations, Joe. Literally, you lost that ball. And then, you're gonna wait for the next run. And then, not, 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 not only, and not only do they, so not, and not only do they play with each other, they don't, they won't even go to another, they won't even go to another gym and play against another set of kids. They only gonna play. If they're gonna play pickup, it's gonna be with my friends. They won't play against each other all the time. Go go to a random gym. I used to do that shit all the time. I still do. I still do. Go to random gym and play pickup. Kenilworth gym, Highland gym. We got stink havers out. See pleasure playing. And we played everywhere. Kingdom. Yeah. Play down. Uh, hoop down. Watts. Highland. Like it, the farms. You, you, you like whatever the wreck was that. We were trying to get some wreck. You got to go anywhere. And that's how you got better. You got better by playing. So I take that same method when I'm training. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. like, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna work on this. You can't do this. We're going to strengthen what you can't do, right? And I'm going to add my little twist to it, too. You know, what I think, what I got. You know what I'm saying? Because I can teach you. You know, you can, t- you can teach a student what you know. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to bump. We're going we're gonna to bump, and then you're going to apply. I make them do it. Mm-hmm. I say, all right, if we work on two moves the whole hour or whatever, and then we get to the bump and you don't do two moves, you just wasted an hour. Mm-hmm. So now you're going to do that while the live body on you. Even if you mess up, it's cool. We're just going to do it again. And again and again, and you get good real reps against a live body, and yeah, you get better. That's, uh, that's you know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah, that's it. So, so I mean, you got to work out. You, you got to work on your game. I, don't, I mean, I some, some dudes are flat out talented, but that shit gets old too when you run into a guy that's talented and work. So you got to work out. You got to shoot them down. The wild shit though, like I was watching games today, right? And I was, I would say, you know, if I had to categorize the games that I was watching, I would say like. B team, C team type shit on that level. You know, not no elite grassroots shit, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the youngest that you see that work on their games, you can see the shit. It's like glaring, Joe. Like, I mean, I'm talking about, no, yeah. seriously, like, it's like night and day. You got two or three dudes that stick out that fucking just like, damn, he been in the gym or whatever the fuck he doing, he, he work on this game. Yeah, you can tell. And all the other niggas that just show up, and only work on their game when they go to practice. Or not even really work on the game, they go to practice. Real ball players look at the kids like, you see what he just did? Like the small things. Yeah, the little shit. Yeah, it ain't a whole lot of kids doing mm-hmm. small things. Quick in and out, get to the basket, drop. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we was watching sitting over there when Young oh, hit the little in and out. Remember we saw little Young hit the in and out boom? Oh, he fucked him up with that. <laughs> with that shit, right? But you know what's so crazy? See, I just think that 
Then you have kids, and you, and you gotta look at like years ago. Like I'm gonna keep it real. Myself working on my game was 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 hooping every day. I didn't have a. I mean, we did a lot of individual shit, individual shit. My shit was just let's go hoop. Yeah. And that's to me how you learn to play. Get in the gym. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. You need you need to get in and do yeah, some yeah. individual shit. I'm just saying, like playing against people, playing against people, it makes you better. It makes you motherfucking much better. Now, that's 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 the situation I put Najee in. Najee, he, he not one of them kids that's gonna go to the gym every day to just be doing this and that. Uh, this nigga can call and say, man, where they hooping at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where they hooping at? Okay, and then we can do some some drill, but where they where they hooping at? You know what I'm saying? That's how, to me, how you really learn how to play basketball. Now, don't get me wrong with nothing. To me, I done seen a lot of, and I seen great, 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 and I would recommend him any day. Keith Williams, any day. Just, if I wanted to send my kids to somebody to work out, boom. Them guys, you send because one thing they do, they won't bump. I just don't, I can't get with the 100,000 drills and then you just, you put the dry shirt on, take the wet shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, boom, like, what the fuck? And then when you see them in the game, they look like straight up, oh, uh, uh, fucking robot. drilled up. Got fucking, robot. Yeah. It's like, that motherfucker. Yeah. You're like, oh, shit, this shit, I think, oh, damn, this shit said, is crazy. Said, like, we said all that. We teach And can't do a goddamn nigga in the game, though. Yeah, like, when I was over there, when I was with y'all, y'all, this nigga playing one-on-one with the kids. I'm like, man, what the fuck you doing? You gotta get them back. That's my point. You ain't just out there, motherfucker, saying, here, take the... You like nigga, we, we gonna put some buck. How yeah. about hey, how about we was working up doing the workouts? You, get some, one, get, you gotta get these niggas but, get some buck. But was we like, yo, we need a shower. Yo, whole, no bullshit, yo, I'm trying to get that you, shit. You, like, you gotta get involved. Yeah, you should yeah. play basketball back then all day off just drinking some water. Yeah. No food. No, 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 no bullshit. Film. Let's no go. Bullshit. Put a hoop. I wanted a hoop. I would cry if it like stinking them used to come get us from over southeast. Right, I would cry if the niggas don't come get me so I can get some bumps. Like, <laughs> why, why, they, why would they leave like, me? What would they leave me? <laughs> what the fuck I do? What that? But, but I'm gonna tell you what. Bad as shit. I'm gonna tell you what. Bump, bump, the time changed though. Fuck that. Listen, the time yeah, changed though, Kurt. Times changed, and that's when I saw the need. Cause, mm-hmm. cause, cause, it's, it's really it's no more bump. They're not, they're not in the pox no more like that. It's not no real, real bump. It's the older dudes coming like what y'all doing like. Still playing, trying to you know bring back that culture, but the youngers are not playing. They're not playing. so they're not skilled. Like when I was in junior high school, we could play already. Mm-hmm. So me and you had this conversation before. When we get them as ninth graders, they, be they so behind. You, you got to teach too much. So, so, so that's why I said, okay, I'm over here. In Ward I said, I got to skill him up. You got to have them. How you going to play with Gonzaga? How you going to play against the top teams? What if these kids can't go left? No, no, no. Hey, Shaq, what I tell you? Your first year. What I tell you? But my thing is, well, what you just. My bad, look. Nah, I told Shaq, man, he coaches every play. Yeah. I said, every possession you coaching, you coaching hard, you coaching too hard. Mm-hmm. You gotta coach every possession, every play, every second. That's too much for a high school basketball team. Mm-hmm. But I thought I always thought if you increase that skill level, like with this generation, like Trey, you said you go, you know, back in the day, and we all did. We played, we played, we shot out, shot, we worked on it a little bit, but we we played too, right? Mm-hmm. This generation, they don't play as much like we play. Like they not out here. So I said, okay, if they not doing that, then they they saw it when they when you get them as ninth grader. Some of them cannot dribble, cannot make a left-hand layup. But if I can get him at sixth grade, you know, skill him up, skill him up, skill him mm-hmm. up, you know, then he go play a whatever they're going to do. And then they get a, a basketball field, but they got skill now. Mm-hmm. And then mix that with the game play and the workouts and stuff like that. Now you got a player. We have to, like, develop the whole player now for the public school. Yeah, we're not, we're not, getting, we're not getting the top-tier guy. We got to take this guy that never played yeah. all the way up to ninth grade. Curry, t- I can't just put him on the court and say go play. He gonna yeah. shoot. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta say, look, young, know, it's the blueprint. Yeah. And so that's where I, I take pride in that on outside of town, because I'm like, we men don't be looking like some nice like, side, Joe. We won that. We won side, but we played. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it, so you gotta skill them up, you, or, or you're gonna be behind. But some kids, as 
not as talented as everybody, but they got toughness, and I like that. Yeah. Okay. I take toughness. You can't teach that. You can't teach that. Can't teach that. So I tell Shaq, man, you got to play him because he's tough and he's going to do the, the necessary thing to get yeah, that extra yeah, rebound. Run through that brick yeah. wall. So we and run with five guards. We have five guards. You that's, know what? And what's wrong with that? Hey, look, no blue, but I'm a big. Man, you got to have one moment to get you win and go. And then, then our guy, he averaged, he, this year he averaged about 20 rebounds a game. So... Tell him, though. I tell him, look. Tell him, first team. Oh, man. Tell him, look. But I tell him, look. You got him. What's shorty, though? What's shorty name? Real quick. No, he didn't. Yo, what's shorty name? But it's Malik Miller. Yo, shorty was cooking, y'all. I saw y'all passing y'all that somewhere. Motherfucker had like 30. He had like about 30 rebounds. Some shit. But he getting the bitch off the glass. But see, it's funny. And then he bringing it. And then he cooking. It's funny you say that. He come back on defense and get glass. I'm like, yo. We was having a conversation about all my teams on the show a couple weeks ago. And like the people that they, the Washington Post, lean on to make those decisions, like to 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 make an All Met team and not be starting for a takeover or premier or circuit team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you can. I mean, I used to kill Marquise Reed. Yeah. When it was at Clemson or ACC. He was second. He led the area in scoring. Was honorable mention. Because, because they can't really for us. They got to go all make down the team motherfucking team. super road to make first team all met here. That shit is bullshit to me. First team all met is is where we fucking from. You can't be going that motherfucking way out an hour drive away and they making first team all met. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that, we're not doing that shit. My argument with the post was it's a popularity contest. Malik Miller. Average twenty points and 20. twenty rebounds. Twenty. Who's Three done? Points. Who's done that? In ten, man, I don't. Nobody did it when we was playing, and we had some ballers in our. I era. seen it, y'all. You know I, I can really understand. Bro, I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't think about this. I cannot. And for like three blocks, day, yeah. he was number two in the country, according to Max Prep, in rebounding. Twenty and twenty, so and they, then some. They, they, they was like, "Well, we're still, we're still doing the teams." I said, I said, no, y'all taking a picture because my point guard, Diana Kelsey, Amaya Moye, who made first team, she's going to take her pictures. So me and Reggie, I said, Reggie, when, when? The boys, what they doing, separate joint? You know what I'm saying? Because who put up those type of numbers this year? Mm -hmm. And we didn't play no fluke schedule. Like, our schedule solid. We played good team. We beat. He had 26 rebounds against Riverdale. About, like, big games, he was going off. That's what I'm saying, because he had 26, and then he came. Because, what was the next game? Did y'all play, did y'all play West Westlake? What were y'all? Y'all was there at Westlake. And he, again, what he had again? Like, 28? 20, 20, rebounds? 20, like, 30 points. Who's putting up them numbers? They're not make first hey, Joe, I was counting out. them, though. You know what's so crazy? I was counting them, right? Yeah, then he chasing them. I swear shit. to God. Right yeah, because people think it, like, y'all juking the stats. But I he, counted them, young. I was he like, played so hard. Hey Slim, the hustle he got is unbelievable. Man, he so, goes, he actually goes he? get those rebounds. He go, he go get them. If you don't no, box him out, he's gonna really get the That's rebound. Fair. I'm Slim, hard, he I'm get hard on that. him. Like I'm, like no, black black like, Shaq. He playing hard. I said he need four. We need one night against Riverdale Baptist. He said, man, he tell his teammates, man, man, they got a rebound with me. I can't get all of them. I said, man, man, you can get all of them. Get all of them then. Mm -hmm. I said, man, hey, what the fuck? What? If that's what you got to do for your team, then you do it. This nigga had like 26 rebounds. I remember that shit. Just like just going. But well, he was doing that all year. All mm -hmm. year. Then he'd come out here, punch, block your shot. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the post. I'm like, y'all need to go back and look at them numbers before y'all take these pictures. I said, my guy has got it done all season long. We was ranked top 10 mm -hmm. for at least a month and a half. And I, and, and I, don't, I ain't saying it like I'm just advocating for my kid. You understand what I'm saying? We was top 20 all year long. You understand what I'm saying? You're telling me, and y'all did three stories on him. Y'all came over here and did, you know, we, don't need, we don't need charity. We need this kid, this is his legacy. This is what he, you know, he can show his kids he 20 years old. And he works hard. That's probably why I'm upset the most about him because he from Southeast. Yeah. He ain't no foreigner. He ain't fly. He a Southeast kid walking up and down, walking Avenue, catch the bus. He grind. He deserve his due. I haven't seen nobody in 10 years put up them type of numbers. Maybe even 20. I, only, I, don't, I don't remember. I can't. Hey, listen, so you average 20 years. I mean, he might have had a game. This is a hypothetical. He might have had a game of eight. 
So he got to come back and have like 32 and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? God damn. He was the average 20 oh. fucking boys, y'all. That's, that's What's crazy. Going on? Anybody that played oh, against that's, him. That's tough. Yeah. But that's you can, tough you can ask any coach that played against him and ask him, did we juke? And like, people were like, man, he ain't really getting them. I said, you just need to come see him play. Everybody comes see him play. They say he worked harder than everybody on the court. But That's the bottom Ricky line. Ricky don't remember my 16. He don't believe in my 16. Get the ball. And, and we playing five. So <laughs> we playing pressure D. We ain't, ain't, like, ain't like we ain't like we don't believe in my 16, Joe. <laughs> if you look at those first team on Mets, man, like. And he's going to Morgan State. He ain't signed. He's like, ain't like he had got one. The kid got like a 10 something on the SAT. He done. He like, he's done stamp. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's a D1 kid out of the District of Columbia. Averaging them numbers, and he's going to college, and he don't make Met. He wow. wasn't on the circuit, man. I'm That's telling you, crazy. you, look at them Met teams yeah. the last eight years, no, man. No, he definitely did you not play. You don't see too many guys. But, 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 numbers are numbers. But he, he shouldn't be penalized for that. I'm just saying that. No, I can, no, I can say, but, yeah. but, but that, that's, I agree with that, you. That's so much of the bullshit right. that comes with the, the, the whole game. It's not, I mean, what, 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 are you, what are you basing first team all man on? You got guys that. he ain't make it. I mean, that year, I mean, that's what, 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 did, what, what did he didn't do? My MOA with the girls. To, to not my she ain't been on the circuit. Well, the girls, are, the girls are a little different. I'm saying with the boys, if you look, if you look at the no, last 10 years. That's true. You got guys. You got guys that made all Matt man in the last ten years. Average nine points a game, ten points a game, man. Yeah, but, but that's they, but they, but they didn't start, even get nominated was, for player of the year. He didn't even get a nominee. Like, give my man a nomination. Yeah, man. That, 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 that's bullshit. A nomin That's a nominate. Like get, this boy average. Yeah. I mean, do people know how hard it is to get 20, 30 something? That's effort. That's effort. That's all effort. Like you got, you got guys. That's that all it is. No, and then that's six three. Effort and determination, man. Six three yeah, and I'm, I'm twenty three pounds. That's one sixty five. And then, the, and then the question becomes like, there, there's people in the area. They can stand up for a kid like that and say, "Wait a minute, that kid should be first team on man." Outside of his coaches, that's the other half of it. Yeah, you know. I, I agree, but that, that, that's that's some bullshit though. Yeah, even even like like Ken and Tyree, our other little guy, right? He averaged seventeen uh, and made first team All State last year. He averaged twenty two this year and don't make first team All State. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. You know, I, and I'm just advocating for my kid like any coach should do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying who's better, blah, blah, blah. I'm saying maybe I'm, I'm biased because I know the work these kids put in day in, day out. Mm -hmm. They was commit And they won a championship. So they, they came and did their job. You know what I'm saying? And any lead you're in, no matter what lead you're in, you're trying to win your lead. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, whatever the lead is, you win your lead. WAC guys trying to win their lead. Charter School, DCIW, they trying to win their lead. We won our lead. Those guys put up numbers, and we we won some big games against some big competition mm -hmm. with nobody over six three. And a lot of that Malik and KT had something to do with that. You know, we had some good freshman guards. Like everybody else, freshman. And see, and see the, I think the coach, coach, though. Man, we alright. Coach has something to do with no, it. No, you know, the, the, the wild thing about it though. Fuck with you heard. Fuck with you heard. It's wild because you got these kids right. You tell me. You know what I mean. Ain't Fuck on Shaq. Yeah, Shaq. You put the hard work in that motherfucker. They did enough to say, look, I know I'm make first team. Yeah. So now you got, here, here, here come the kids, like, how tough is he? Like, look, fuck, I know I should have made it, I ain't make it. So now I'm working harder to do some other shit. Yeah. Then you got kids, though, that'll fall off that shit. Yeah. And that's what I was worried about. And be, yeah, that's what that's I'm what saying. Yeah, about. like, hold up, man. First, when it came out, guess what he did? Man, doing? I ain't coach talking to the bullshit. I can be working hard, I do. Yeah. Boom. He texts me. Yeah. Like I, me. Said, I said, I said, I said, I said, like I said, Shaq, you see that? I said, yeah, young man. I said, yeah. Yeah. I was mad you're my player of the year. That's enough for Diggy Simpson. Yeah. You're my old man. Yeah, you the first team in my books. Now, I always try to remind that to him, you know, reiterate that to him. Like, you might, you, you got it done. Mm -hmm. You did. You been at this school since you was in sixth grade, Slim. You, 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 KT, that whole little crew. Y'all set the tempo for this program. When this, if this program going to take off, it's because of y'all. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you. And you, your first team in our book. Yeah. You know, so, I talked to Steve and Turner. You got to do that. You know, I talked to Steve Turner. And, and, you know, like about the capital class and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, just trying to see where this kid at as far as that game. You know, I just feel like he not getting his just. It's nice. We done sitting there. I'm like, damn. I don't even know he be having them. Because I'm so, I'm hard on this dude, mm -hmm. right? No, I'm yeah, like, black be like, man. He had like 32 rebounds. <laughs> I said, damn, 32 rebounds. Nah, he getting glass. I look at the film. I said, really? I don't practice. I'm really with you. It's like he valued it. 
He tapping at you. I said, you patting your step. He said, no, I just ain't had an angle to, to lay it back up. Like, you know, he knew how to fucking rebound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I, ain't no drill I made up for that. That's yeah, effort. Yeah, like, you know how to rebound. Yeah, because we do rebounding drills in practice. He just, he, he just That's gets not. all the rebounds. I'm like, man, y'all got to Somebody got to box him out to do something different. Oh, he tell him, man, I'm. That's what I do. Yeah. He tell you quick. That's what I do. He I got the glamorous rebounding drill. He just that's roll that's the ball that's how, that's and make niggas die. That, 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 that's, that's, that's how he plays. 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 They are robbing without Shout a gun. Todd Bozeman. Todd Bozeman is getting a steal. Todd Bozeman. He's getting a steal. <laughs> His game is really cut out for me, act though. Like he's going to do real, real. He's hard. going to kill because he's going to be understand the physicality of it early, and that's the hardest adjustment mm -hmm. in the Miac. Yeah, he's going. To, they he got a steal. He got a uh, a great kid, all around kid that plays tough, and the guys that got a lot of skill with him, mm -hmm. with the toughness. I knew he was the work he like when I first got him. I knew it was going to take a minute. I said he ain't, he he never worked like this before. Mm -hmm. Like. Day in, day out, he never. I'm, I'm retarded when it comes to this. I'm, I love being in the gym, so it's whatever. Call me, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't doing nothing with the family, let's, man, I'm sitting around. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I said the stuff he doing now, cause last year he had a solid year. I said, but the stuff he, we putting in him now, he's going to destroy next year. And he did it. I told him, I said, Malik, you know, you gotta rush your decision, cause you're gonna cook this year. He's like, no, but he fell in love with Todd, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Todd, I was cool yeah, with that. You know what I'm saying? Todd see, but but now, now I, I see the thing, the thing about Todd though, the, the conversation you had before the show. Man, Todd doing this shit. Like, look, this nigga local. I'm going out in this month. Yeah, Todd's I'm look, I'm I'm gonna shoot my shot. Legit 17 years old. Before somebody else come to this motherfucker and be like, yeah, man, boom, boom. Because I know I'm put in the right situation. I don't go nowhere old top his head. Yeah. He gonna play, and I'm gonna keep it and and talk and keep it real with y'all. Yeah. Great mother, now he, I'm, I, 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 I can stamp that. Yeah, no you know what I'm saying? Slim know his shit. Too. Slim know his shit. Man, he was cold this back with, with Slim know his shit. Slim so know his shit. Out the time. You know what I'm saying? Great, great recruiter, man. And uh, Todd say, Todd come to a game, say, Shot, do you take him out? I said, for what? No bullshit. And what? Todd ain't gonna take his ass out either. Yeah, I said for what? <laughs> no bullshit. Nah, he played my young at 40 yeah, plus. He, yeah, like, Todd, Todd, Todd ain't gonna take his ass out either. Hey, hey, hey. This, this is the thing I tell you. Oh, Dwayne Musselman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. Look. No bullshit. <laughs> we, 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 we playing six. We playing <laughs> six. Hey, Joe. That motherfucker Musselman playing with five we, 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 motherfuckers. We playing six. Musselman playing with five motherfuckers. He ain't subbing shit, Joe. He going with five, Joe. And, and, and no, Those motherfuckers ain't coming out the game, Slim. Yeah. Don't foul. Slide the motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, look, and they hit bad shots. Nah, it was two Fuck guys. Fuck the bottom hit bad two, shots, It was two Joe. guys we went shot. It was right. two guys we went with. He said, Malik, KT, yeah, and that. my scenes, and my leaders. Everybody else is just, you know, we, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. so, but he, I yeah. said, y'all got to play, though. Nah, and they that, played. That, that, that's what's up. Like but, but this is what I tell them. I said, you got to, uh, when y'all stop looking like high school players, that's when I know y'all have arrived. When y'all, mm -hmm. when you, I said, if you still looking like you belong with them in practice, you run with them, yeah, like, they still gonna catch shit. you. Like, you right. Like, I, mm -hmm. just so you had to wear all the mind shit and oh, all that. Yeah. All day. And normally yeah. like Shaq, Shaq. Trick him. Shaq, <laughs> like, normally like Shaq, give him a break. I'm like, you <laughs> look like a regular dude. You're regular. Yeah, you 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 regular, you regular. It's okay, and you're cool with like mm -hmm. getting in there with them, like KT. Like, but I like I so like regular, they, they took the challenge on yeah. and made sure they not regular. Yeah. They dominated practice do. and they dominated yeah. the games that, that, every that. night. Yeah. Every yeah. night we played, they dominated. I said, if, like if, I said, if this I I would name one of my players like if, if he can run with you, and he not D one, <laughs> like you regular. You a regular dude, man, like you, you got to put the money. You know what I'm saying, like man, I ain't regular. That's man, from RN, so that's you, you look are like you RN, RN, regular. I seen <laughs> when I seen Malik 
Malik did one of the moves we work out on, right? And I, I probably showed him that move like a while ago. And we was like, he'll look at me like for a play. I'm like, man, that's spread the floor, man. Cook him. Mm -hmm. man, <clears throat> Boom. I said, oh, hold up. <laughs> that was a deep <laughs> That was a pro move it looked like, yeah. right? When he started like taking over game, like Lee, okay, T. I'm like, man, come on, man. This is shit. If my play ain't working, man, go right to the pick and roll, man. Mm -hmm. We ain't got time for this shit, man. We're not about to be running all this. Yeah, see, man. that's how it goes, bro. You know, let's get right to it, man. When you got a horse like that, sometimes yeah. you say, like, when, it, me and Bone talk about this all the time, right? <laughs> like, we talk about the press, right? Like, I couldn't imagine, like, if it was some way I was coaching him, right? Yeah. But, like, if I was coaching him, but, like, I coach my players on my level, I'm like, yo. Beat that shit. It ain't no. You know that shit. Like, get, no, get no, no real shit. Like, no real shit. Get out of the way. Beat that shit. You know what's crazy? We had this conversation. I still got to stop you. We had, we, we had that conversation a couple weeks ago, right? And, the, and, and the, right after we had that conversation, when Jim was playing UMBC, that little motherfucker did exactly from UMBC, right? The little motherfucker from UMBC told them niggas, way. get out get the get out way. way. Yeah, if you watch that shit, right after we had the conversation, he told all them niggas, man, the jerk. First, the he first said, get out the way. He broke Virginia press by the his first motherfucker. In my life, the first one yeah. I ever in my life seen do that shit was Mel Middleton. I'm a young motherfucker watching this motherfucker play. Man, they fool. He, he, he like, look, man, y'all just get the fuck out of the way. I got this. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just, just be ready to like, get across the <laughs> ball. And boom, y'all ready to shoot or whatever y'all gonna do this motherfucker. But I don't need y'all to be the weak side and y'all going to the middle. Y'all yeah, yeah, in my way with that bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get the fuck down court. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm gonna get this motherfucking rock to y'all. Uh, no, 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 no bullshit though, man. No, no, no bullshit. And that mother, that motherfucker M was bad with that shit, man. For for real, for real. But man, we 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 gonna close out tonight, man. I gotta appreciate my man Shaq and Norm for coming on tonight, man. Doing a great job, man. No bullshit. Like y'all dudes came a long way with that shit. Cause I can remember I ain't saying I'm a fucking senior citizen, but I remember mean, y'all was youngins, man. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the, the just the, the bump against y'all in the farms and shit. Y'all was up and coming youngins. You know what I'm saying? Them damn youngins as Miles Miles would say. Yeah. And to see y'all coaching now, man, that's to me, and, and being successful with it, you know what I'm saying, and with your workout going on and all that, man, that's, to me, man, y'all be making me feel like I'm, shit, I'm, I'm an old man, I'm sitting back and watch this shit, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, no bullshit, man, so like I said, man, appreciate you, man, like anything y'all want to say before we close, like, what will what, be your message to these youngers, you know, like, working hard and all that shit to get where they need to be, man? Um, just keep working hard, man. Keep your eye on the prize and don't let the negativity bring you down because that's what gets you. That's what get the kids today. Um, oh, you caught up peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Peer pressure is a is, is is dangerous out here, man. So once you stay on the right path, you stay your path. And don't switch up. When you switch up, things mess up. So. That's what I gotta say to the kids. So totally agree. I know. I I, I I I know. Coach got something before we go. Just, just prep yourself um, for excellence. You know, be disciplined, be dedicated, be determined, and good things gonna happen. Prep yourself for excellence. Surround yourself with excellence. You know, yeah. you know who don't need to be around you. You know who should be around you. You know what I'm saying? Don't run from accountability. Don't run from it. You know, it, it's sometimes everybody don't like. Even as adults, we don't like to be held accountable. But right. it'll bring out your best you. So stay locked in and work. So one more thing before we leave, you do camps in the summertime, right? Yeah, we got spring break camp coming up yeah. Monday yeah. at the Merit Center. Um, How many people go about? They can go to whatittakestraining.com and uh, register there or just call me, 301-830-3494. Get your kid registered. Um, we do sponsorships and stuff like that so kids can't afford it. What's like the ages? 6 to 17. So Bet. we doing skills and drills in the morning. We split them up and they bump in the afternoon. What's up? And Kirk gonna come by and speak this time. You know, I, ain't I might come. Two two, all them, all the other guys done spoke. Uh, <laughs> oh, two two, great. JB, JB, and then JoJo. Oh, JB, JoJo, 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 JoJo can't do JoJo Hunter. Oh, JoJo, that's my man. JoJo, I know. I, I, JoJo, good dude. So, yeah, just, so what day? What day I'm coming to do to speak? Man, just any day. Yeah. Uh, come by about eleven thirty. Cause the kids, if you mess up their bump time, they ain't gonna hit nothing. It's no bullshit. Yeah. They're like, man, who is this dude? Man, we trying to hoop shot. So right. Come at eleven thirty when they tired of doing workouts. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come and see them get, 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 get some reps. Yeah, yeah, come on. 
I'm gonna come see. Yeah, that's what my point guard, man. Yeah, I got yeah. That's yeah. my point guard. Yeah, 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 man. And they jump out there, the older one. I ain't doing yeah, shit. Yeah, I guess. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but look at man. Once again, great show. Good guys, man. And uh, we'll be back next week, man. Appreciate you know what I'm saying. Congratulations to these guys, man. Charter school championship. Boom. With, with, with a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying, and uh, put that time with them youngers, man. We're gonna see y'all next week. With some other shit, you know what I'm saying? But appreciate y'all, man. Peace out. <laughs>